Tokugawa Ieyasu was the founder and first shogunate of the Tokugawa Shogunate of Japan, which ruled from the Battle of Sekigahara in 1600 until the Meiji Restoration in 1868. Ieyasu seized power in 1600, received appointment as shogun in 1603, abdicated from office in 1605, but remained in power until his death in 1616. His given name is sometimes spelled Ieyasu, according to the historical pronunciation of Wei. Ieyasu was posthumously enshrined at Nikola Tashaga with the name Tasha de Gunjin. Early life, Tokugawa Ieyasu was born in Okazaki Castle in Mikawa on the 26th day of the 12th month of the 11th year of Tenban, according to the Japanese calendar. Originally named Matsujara Takikayo, he was the son of Matsujara Hiratada, the daimo of Mikawa of the Matsujara clan, and Odi no Keita, the daughter of a neighboring samurai lord, Mizuno Tadamasa. His mother and father were step siblings. They were just 17 and 15 years old, respectively, when Ieyasu was born. Two years later, Odi no Keita was sent back to her family and the couple never lived together again. As both husband and wife remarried and both went on to have further children, Ieyasu in the end had eleven half-brothers and sisters. The Matsujara family was split in 1550, one side wanted to be vassals of the Imagawa clan, while the other side preferred the Oda. As a result, much of Ieyasu's early years were spent in danger as wars with the Oda and Imagawa were fought. This family feud was the reason behind the murder of Ieyasu's paternal grandfather. Matsujara Koyasu. Unlike his father and the majority of his branch of the family, Ieyasu's father, Hiratada, favored the Imagawa clan. In 1548, when the Oda clan invaded Mikawa, Hiratada turned to Imagawa Yoshimoto, the head of the Imagawa clan, for help to repel the invaders. Yoshimoto agreed to help under the condition that Hiratada send Ieyasu to Sunpu as a hostage. Hiratada agreed. Oda Nabeyat, the leader of the Oda clan, learned of this arrangement and had Ieyasu abducted from his entourage en route to Sunpu. Ieyasu was just six years old at the time. Nabeyat threatened to execute Ieyasu unless his father severed all ties with the Imagawa clan. Hiratada replied that sacrificing his own son would show his seriousness in his pact with the Imagawa clan. Despite this refusal, Nabea chose not to kill Ieyasu but instead held him for the next three years at the Manshoji Temple in Nagoya. In 1549, when Ieyasu was seven, his father Hiratada died of natural causes. At about the same time, Oda Nabea died during an epidemic. The deaths dealt a heavy blow to the Oda clan. An army under the command of Imagawa Sesar laid siege to the castle where Oda Nabehiro, Nabea's eldest son and the new head of the Oda, was living. With the castle about to fall, Imagawa Sesai offered a deal to Oda Nobunaga. Sesai offered to give up the siege if Ieyasu was handed over to the Imagawa clan. Nobunaga agreed, and so Ieyasu was taken as a hostage to Sunpu. Here he lived a fairly good life as hostage and potentially useful future ally of the Imagawa clan until 1556 when he was aged 15 years old. Rise to Power in 1556 he came of age, and, following tradition, changed his name from Matsujara to Kikaya to Matsujara Jirasabura Motonobu. One year later, at the age of 16, he married his first wife and changed his name again to Matsujara Kirandanosyuk Motwasu. Allowed to return to his native Mikawa, the Imagawa ordered him to fight the Oda clan in a series of battles. Motwasu fought his first battle at the Siege of Terebe and later succeeded in delivering supplies to a border fort through a bold night attack. By 1560 the leadership of the Oda clan had passed to the brilliant leader Oda Nobunaga. Yoshimoto, leading a large Imagawa army attacked the Oda clan territory. Motwasu with his Mikawa troops captured a fort at the border and then stayed there to defend it. As a result, Motwasu and his men were not present at the Battle of Okazama where Yoshimoto was killed by Oda Nobunaga's surprise assault. With Yoshimoto dead, Motwasu decided to ally with the Oda clan. A secret deal was needed because Motwasu's wife and infant son, Nabayasu, were held hostage in Sunpu by the Imagawa clan. 
In 1561, Motuasu openly broke with the Imagawa and captured the fortress of Kaminojo. Motuasu was then able to exchange his wife and son for the wife and daughter of the ruler of Kaminojo Castle. In 1563 Nabayasu was married to Nobunaga's daughter Tokuaim. For the next few years Motuasu set to reform the Matsujara clan and pacifying Makawa. He also strengthened his key vassals by awarding them land and castles in Makawa. They were, Honda Tadakatsu, Ishikawa Kazumasa, Kakika Ayanaga, Hattori Hansa, Sakai Tadoshibu, and Sakakabra Yasumisa. Motuasu defeated the military forces of the Mikawa Monto within Mikawa province at the Battle of Azukzaka. The Monto were a warlike group of monks that were ruling Kaga province and had many temples elsewhere in Japan. They refused to obey Motuasu's commands and so he went to war with them, defeating their troops and pulling down their temples. In one battle, Motuasu was nearly killed when he was struck by a bullet which did not penetrate his armor. Both Motuasu's Mikawa troops and the Monto forces were using the new gunpowder weapons which the Portuguese had introduced to Japan just 20 years earlier. In 1567, Motuasu changed his name yet again, with his family name becoming Tokugawa, and his given name becoming Iyasu. By so doing, he claimed descent from the Minamoto clan. No proof has actually been found for this alleged descent from Suiwa Tenna, the 56th Emperor of Japan. Iyasu remained an ally of Oda Nobunaga and his Mikawa soldiers were part of Nobunaga's army which captured Kyoto in 1568. At the same time Iyasu was expanding his own territory. He and Takeda Shinjin, the head of the Takeda clan in Kai province made an alliance for the purpose of conquering all the Imagawa territory. In 1570, Iyasu's troops captured Tatami province while Shinjin's troops captured Saruga province. Iyasu ended his alliance with Takeda and sheltered their former enemy, Imagawa Yusan. He also allied with Wagi Kenshin of the Wagi clan Iyuro an enemy of the Takeda clan. Later that year, Iyasu led 5,000 of his own men supporting Nobunaga at the Battle of Anagawa against the Asai and Asakura clans. In October 1571, Takeda Shinjin, now allied with the Hoja clan, attacked the Tokugawa lands of Tatami. Iyasu asked for help from Nobunaga, who sent him some 3,000 troops. Early in 1573 the two armies met at the Battle of Mikotagahara. The Takeda army, under the expert direction of Shinjin, hammered at Iyasu's troops until they were broken. Iyasu fled with just five men to a nearby castle. This was a major loss for Iyasu, but Shinjin was unable to exploit his victory because Iyasu quickly gathered a new army and refused to fight Shinjin again on the battlefield. Fortune smiled on Iyasu a year later when Takeda Shinjin died at a siege early in 1573. Shinjin was succeeded by his less capable son Takeda Katsuri. In 1575, the Takeda army attacked Nagashino Castle in Mikawa province. Iyasu appealed to Nobunaga for help and the result was that Nobunaga personally came at the head of his very large army. The Oda Tokugawa a force of 38,000 won a great victory on June 28, 1575, at the Battle of Nagashino, though Takeda Katsuri survived the battle and retreated back to Kai province. For the next seven years, Iyasu and Katsuri fought a series of small battles. Iyasu's troops managed to wrest control of Saruga province away from the Takeda clan. In 1579, Iyasu's wife, and his eldest son, Matsujara Nabayasu, were accused by Nobunaga of conspiring with Takeda Katsuri to assassinate Nobunaga, whose daughter Tokuaim was married to Nabayasu. Iyasu's wife was executed and Nabayasu was forced to commit seppuku. Iyasu then named his third and favorite son, Tokugawa Hidetada, as heir, since his second son was adopted by another rising power, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, the future ruler of all Japan. The end of the war with Takeda came in 1582 when a combined Oda Tokugawa force attacked and conquered Kai province. Takeda Katsuri, as well as his eldest son Takeda Nobukatsu, were defeated at the Battle of Temokuzan and then committed seppuku. In late 1582, 
Iyasu was near Osaka and far from his own territory when he learned that Nobunaga had been assassinated by a Kiki Mitsuide. Iyasu managed the dangerous journey back to Mikawa, avoiding Mitsuide's troops along the way, as they were trying to find and kill him. One week after he arrived in Mikawa, Iyasu's army marched out to take revenge on Mitsuide. But they were too late, as Hideyoshi Yuro on his own Yuro defeated and killed Akiki Mitsuide at the Battle of Yamazaki. The death of Nobunaga meant that some provinces, ruled by Nobunaga's vassals, were ripe for conquest. The leader of Kai province made the mistake of killing one of Iyasu's aides. Iyasu promptly invaded Kai and took control. Haja Ajimasa, leader of the Haja clan responded by sending his much larger army into Shinano and then into Kai province. No battles were fought between Iyasu's forces and the large Haja army and, after some negotiation, Iyasu and the Haja agreed to a settlement which left Iyasu in control of both Kai and Shinano provinces, while the Haja took control of Kazusa province. At the same time a war for rule over Japan was fought between Toyotomi Hideyoshi and Shibata Katsui. Iyasu did not take a side in this conflict, building on his reputation for both caution and wisdom. Hideyoshi defeated Katsui at Battle of Shizuga Take. With this victory, Hideyoshi became the single most powerful daimo in Japan. Iyasu and Hideyoshi In 1584, Iyasu decided to support Oda Nobukatsu the eldest son and heir of Oda Nobunaga, against Hideyoshi. This was a dangerous act and could have resulted in the annihilation of the Tokugawa. Tokugawa troops took the traditional Oda stronghold of Owari. Hideyoshi responded by sending an army into Owari. The Komaki campaign was the only time any of the great unifiers of Japan fought each other. The campaign proved indecisive and after months of fruitless marches and feints, Hideyoshi settled the war through negotiation. First he made peace with Oda Nobukatsu, and then he offered a truce to Iyasu. The deal was made at the end of the year. As part of the terms Iyasu's second son, Oji Aimara, became an adopted son of Hideyoshi. Iyasu's aide, Ishikawa Kazumasa, chose to join the preeminent daimo and so he moved to Osaka to be with Hideyoshi. However, Few other Tokugawa retainers followed this example. Hideyoshi was understandably distrustful of Iyasu, and five years passed before they fought as allies. The Tokugawa did not participate in Hideyoshi's successful invasions of Shikoku and Kayasha. In 1590 Hideyoshi attacked the last independent daimo in Japan, Haja Ajimasa. The Haja clan ruled the eight provinces of the Kanto region in eastern Japan. Hideyoshi ordered them to submit to his authority and they refused. Iyasu, though a friend and occasional ally of Ajimasa, joined his large force of 30,000 samurai with Hideyoshi's enormous army of some 160,000. Hideyoshi attacked several castles on the borders of the Haja clan with most of his army laying siege to the castle at Odawara. Hideyoshi's army captured Odawara after six months. During this siege, Hideyoshi offered Iyasu a radical deal. He offered Iyasu the eight Kanta provinces which they were about to take from the Haja in return for the five provinces that Iyasu currently controlled. Iyasu accepted this proposal. Bowing to the overwhelming power of the Toyotomi army, the Haja accepted defeat, the top Haja leaders killed themselves and Iyasu marched in and took control of their provinces, so ending the clan's reign of over 100 years. Iyasu now gave up control of his five provinces and moved all his soldiers and vassals to the Kanta region. He himself occupied the castle town of Edo in Kanta. This was possibly the riskiest move Iyasu ever made in a Euro to leave his home province and rely on the uncertain loyalty of the formerly Haja samurai in Kanta. In the event, it worked out brilliantly for Iyasu. He reformed the Kanta provinces, controlled and pacified the Haja samurai and improved the underlying economic infrastructure of the lands. Also, because Kanta was somewhat isolated from the rest of Japan, Iyasu was able to maintain a unique level of autonomy from Hideyoshi's rule. Within a few years, Iyasu had become the second most powerful daimo in Japan. There is a Japanese proverb which likely refers to this event, Iyasu won the empire by retreating. 
In 1592, Hideyoshi invaded Korea as a prelude to his plan to attack China for more information about this campaign. The Tokugawa samurai never took part in this campaign. Early in 1593, Iyasu was summoned to Hideyoshi's court in Nagoya, as a military advisor. He stayed there, off and on for the next five years. Despite his frequent absences, Iyasu's sons, loyal retainers and vassals were able to control and improve Edo and the other new Tokugawa lands. In 1593, Hideyoshi fathered a son and heir, Toyotomi Hideori. In 1598, with his health clearly failing, Hideyoshi called a meeting that would determine the Council of Five Elders, who would be responsible for ruling on behalf of his son after his death. The five that were chosen as regents for Hideori were Maeda Twashai, Mari Terumoto, Erkata Haide, Wagi Kajikatsu, and Iyasu himself, who was the most powerful of the five. This change in the pre Sikigahara power structure became pivotal as Iyasu turned his attention towards Kansai. And at the same time, other ambitious plans, such as the Tokugawa Initiative establishing official relations with Mexico and New Spain, continued to unfold and advance. The Sikigahara Campaign Hideyoshi, after three more months of increasing sickness, died on September 18, 1598. He was nominally succeeded by his young son Hideori but as he was just five years old, real power was in the hands of the regents. Over the next two years Iyasu made alliances with various daimo, especially those who had no love for Hideyoshi. Happily for Iyasu, the oldest and most respected of the regents died after just one year. With the death of Regent Maeda Twashai in 1599, Iyasu led an army to Fushimi and took over Osaka Castle, the residence of Hideori. This angered the three remaining regents and plans were made on all sides for war. It was also the last battle of one of the most loyal and powerful retainer of Iyasu, Tadakatsu Honda. Opposition to Iyasu centered around Ishida Mitsuniri, a powerful daimo but not one of the regents. Mitsuniri plotted Iyasu's death and news of this plot reached some of Iyasu's generals. They attempted to kill Mitsuniri but he fled and gained protection from none other than Iyasu himself. It is not clear why Iyasu protected a powerful enemy from his own men but Iyasu was a master strategist and he may have concluded that he would be better off with Mitsuniri leading the enemy army rather than one of the regents, who would have more legitimacy. Nearly all of Japan's daimo and samurai now split into two factions a year the Western Army and the Eastern Army. Iyasu supported the anti-Mitsuniri group, and formed them as his potential allies. Iyasu's allies were the Date clan, the Mogami clan, the Satake clan and the Maeda clan. Mitsuniri allied himself with the three other regents, Erkata Haide, Mori Terumoto, and Wegi Kajikatsu as well as many daimo from the eastern end of Honsha. In June 1600, Iyasu and his allies moved their armies to defeat the Wegi clan, which was accused of planning to revolt against Toyotomi administration. Before arriving at Wegi's territory, Iyasu had got information that Mitsuniri and his allies had moved their army against Iyasu. Iyasu held a meeting with the daimo, and they agreed to follow Iyasu. He then led the majority of his army west towards Kyoto. In late summer, Ishida's forces captured Fushimi. Iyasu and his allies marched along the Takeda, while his son Hitada went along the Nakasenda with 38,000 soldiers. A battle against Sanada Masayuki in Shinano province delayed Hitada's forces, and they did not arrive in time for the main battle. This battle was the biggest and likely the most important battle in Japanese history. It began on October 21, 1600 with a total of 160,000 men facing each other. The Battle of Sikigahara ended with a complete Tokugawa victory. The Western bloc was crushed and over the next few days Ishida Mitsuniri and many other Western nobles were captured and killed. Tokugawa Iyasu was now the de facto ruler of Japan. Immediately after the victory at Sikigahara, Iyasu redistributed land to the vassals who had served him. Iyasu left some western daimo unharmed, such as the Shimazu clan, but others were completely destroyed. Toyotomi Hideori lost most of his territory which were under management of western daimo, and he was degraded to an ordinary daimo, 
not a ruler of Japan. In later years the vassals who had pledged allegiance to Iyasu before Sikigahara became known as the Fudi Daimo, while those who pledged allegiance to him after the battle were known as Tozama Daimo. Tozama Daimo were considered inferior to Fudi Daimo. As Shogun, Shogun Iyasu. On March 24, 1603, Tokugawa Iyasu received the title of Shogun from Emperor Goyazei. Iyasu was 60 years old. He had outlasted all the other great men of his times, Nobunaga, Hideyoshi, Shinjin, Kenshin. He was the Shogun and he used his remaining years to create and solidify the Tokugawa Shogunate, which ushered in the Edo period, and was the third shogunal government in the Ashikaga. To consolidate his rule, Iyasu gathered his men for one last battle to eliminate the remnants of the Toyotomi clan in Osaka Castle. He succeeded at the siege of Osaka and removed all of the possible threats to his power. He claimed descent from the Minamoto clan by way of the Nita family. The Tokugawa shogunate would rule Japan for the next 250 years. Following a well-established Japanese pattern, Iyasu abdicated his official position as shogun in 1605. His successor was his son and heir, Tokugawa Hyde Tada. This may have been done, in part to avoid being tied up in ceremonial duties, and in part to make it harder for his enemies to attack the real power center, and in part to secure a smoother succession of his son. The abdication of Iyasu had no effect on the practical extent of his powers or his rule. But Hyde Tada nevertheless assumed a role as formal head of the Bakufu bureaucracy. Retired Shogun, Iyasu, acting as the retired Shogun, remained the effective ruler of Japan until his death. Iyasu retired to Sunpu Castle in Sunpu, but he also supervised the building of Edo Castle, a massive construction project which lasted for the rest of Iyasu's life. The end result was the largest castle in all of Japan, the costs for building the castle being borne by all the other daimo, while Iyasu reaped all the benefits. The central dungeon, or Tensu, burned in the 1657 Maireki fire. Today, the imperial palace stands on the site of the castle. Ogosu Iyasu also supervised diplomatic affairs with the Netherlands and Spain. He chose to distance Japan from the Europeans starting in 1609, although the Bakufu did give the Dutch exclusive trading rights and permitted them to maintain a factory for trading purposes. From 1605 until his death, Iyasu consulted with an English Protestant pilot and Dutch employee, William Adams, who played a noteworthy role in forming and furthering the Shogunate's evolving relations with Spain and the Roman Catholic Church. In 1611, Iyasu, at the head of 50,000 men, visited Kyoto to witness the coronation of Emperor Gomizanu. In Kyoto, Iyasu ordered the remodeling of the imperial court and buildings, and forced the remaining Western Daimo to sign an oath of fealty to him. In 1613, he composed the Kyuch Shohato, a document which put the court Daimo under strict supervision, leaving them as mere ceremonial figureheads. The influences of Christianity, which was beset by quarreling over the Protestant Reformation and its aftermath, on Japan were proving problematic for Iyasu. In 1614, he signed the Christian Expulsion Edict which banned Christianity, expelled all Christians and foreigners, and banned Christians from practicing their religion. As a result, many Christians fled to either Portuguese Macau or the Spanish Philippines. In 1615, he prepared the Buk Shahato, a document setting out the future of the Tokugawa regime. Siege of Osaka The climax of Iyasu's life was the Siege of Osaka Castle. The last remaining threat to Iyasu's rule was Toyotomi Hideori, the son and rightful heir to Hideyoshi. He was now a young daimo living in Osaka Castle. Many samurai who opposed Iyasu rallied around Hideori, claiming that he was the rightful ruler of Japan. Iyasu found fault with the opening ceremony of a temple built by Hideori. It was as if Hideori prayed for Iyasu's death and the ruin of the Tokugawa clan. Iyasu ordered Toyotomi to leave Osaka Castle, but those in the castle refused and summoned samurai to gather within castle. Then the Tokugawa, with a huge army led by Ogosu Iyasu and Shogun Hyde Tada, laid siege to Osaka Castle in what is now known as the Winter Siege of Osaka. 
Eventually, Tokugawa was able to precipitate negotiations and an armistice after directed cannon fire threatened Hideyori's mother, Iodo Dono. However, once the treaty was agreed, Tokugawa filled Osaka Castle's outermotes with sand so his troops could walk across. Through this ploy, Tokugawa gained a huge tract of land through negotiation and deception that he could not through siege and combat. Iyasu returned to Sampu Castle once, but after Toyotomi refused another order to leave Osaka, he and his allied army of 155,000 soldiers attacked Osaka Castle again in the summer siege of Osaka. Finally in late 1615, Osaka Castle fell and nearly all the defenders were killed including Hideori, his mother, and his infant son. His wife, Senheim, was sent back to Tokugawa alive. With the Toyotomi line finally extinguished, no threats remained to the Tokugawa clan's domination of Japan. Death In 1616, Iyasu died at age 73. The cause of death is thought to have been cancer or syphilis. The first Tokugawa shogun was posthumously deified with the name Tasha de Gunjin, the Great Gunjin, Light of the East is believed to be a Buddha who has appeared on Earth in the shape of a kami to save sentient beings. In life, Iyasu had expressed the wish to be deified after his death in order to protect his descendants from evil. His remains were buried at the Gunjan's mausoleum at Kunazan, Kunazan Tashaga. As a common view, many people believe that after the first anniversary of his death, his remains were reburied at Nika Shrine, Nika Tashaga. His remains are still there. But his real remains are still at Kunazan. The mausoleum's architectural style became known as Gunjin Zukurai, that is Gunjin style. Iyasu is a person. Iyasu had a number of qualities that enabled him to rise to power. He was both careful and bold a euro at the right times, and at the right places. Calculating and subtle, Iyasu switched alliances when he thought he would benefit from the change. He allied with the late Haja clan. Then he joined Hideyoshi's army of conquest, which destroyed the Haja. And he himself took over their lands. In this he was like other daimo of his time. This was an era of violence, sudden death, and betrayal. He was not very well liked nor personally popular, but he was feared and he was respected for his leadership and his cunning. For example, he wisely kept his soldiers out of Hideyoshi's campaign in Korea. He was capable of great loyalty, once he allied with Oda Nobunaga, he never went against him, and both leaders profited from their long alliance. He was known for being loyal towards his personal friends and vassals, whom he rewarded, he was said to have a close friendship with his vassal Hattori Hanzo. However, he also remembered those who had wronged him in the past. It is said that Iyasu executed a man who came into his power because he had insulted him when Iyasu was young. Iyasu protected many former Takeda retainers from the wrath of Oda Nobunaga, who was known to harbor a bitter grudge towards the Takeda. He managed to successfully transform many of the retainers of the Takeda, Haja, and Imagawa clan Sayuro all whom he had defeated himself or helped to defeat a Euro into loyal followers. He had nineteen wives and concubines, by whom he had eleven sons and five daughters. The eleven sons of Iyasu were Matsujara Nabayasu, Yaki Hideyasu, Tokugawa Hidetada, Matsujara Tadayoshi, Takeda Nobuyoshi, Matsujara Tadateru, Matsuchio, Senchio, Tokugawa Yoshine, Tokugawa Yorinbu, Tokugawa Yorufusa. In this listing, the two sons without surnames died before adulthood. His daughters became Haim, Tokyu Haim, Fury Haim, Matsu Haim, and Iki Haim. He is said to have cared for his children and grandchildren, establishing three of them, Yorinbu, Yoshine, and Yorufusa as the daimos of Kii, Amari, and Mito provinces, respectively. At the same time, he could be ruthless when crossed. For example, he ordered the executions of his first wife and his eldest son Yuro a son-in-law of Oda Nobunaga. Oda was also an uncle of Hidetada's wife Oniro. After Hidetada became shogun, he married Oniro of the Oda clan and they had two sons, Tokugawa Iemtsu and Tokugawa Tadaniga. They also had two daughters, one of whom, Senheim, married twice. 
The other daughter, Kazuko Haim, married Emperor Go Mizunyu of descent from the Fujiwara clan. Iyasu's favorite pastime was falconry. He regarded it as excellent training for a warrior. When you go into the country hawking, you learn to understand the military spirit and also the hard life of the lower classes. You exercise your muscles and train your limbs. You have any amount of walking and running and become quite indifferent to heat and cold, and so you are little likely to suffer from any illness. Iyasu swam often. Even late in his life he is reported to have swum in the moat of Edo Castle. Later in life he took to scholarship and religion, patronizing scholars like Hayashi Razan. Two of his famous quotes. Life is like unto a long journey with a heavy burden. Let thy step be slow and steady, that thou stumble not. Persuade thyself that imperfection and inconvenience are the lot of natural mortals, and there will be no room for discontent, neither for despair. When ambitious desires arise in thy heart, recall the days of extremity thou hast passed through. Forbearance is the root of all quietness and assurance forever. Look upon the wrath of thy enemy. If thou only knowest what it is to conquer, and knowest not what it is to be defeated. Woe unto thee, it will fare ill with thee. Find fault with thyself rather than with others. The strong manly ones in life are those who understand the meaning of the word patience. Patience means restraining one's inclinations. There are seven emotions, joy, anger, anxiety, adoration, grief, fear, and hate, and if a man does not give way to these he can be called patient. I am not as strong as I might be, but I have long known and practiced patience. And if my descendants wish to be as I am, they must study patience. He claimed that he fought, as a warrior or a general, in ninety battles. He was interested in various Kenjutsu skills, was a patron of the Agyoshinki Draya school, and also had them as his personal sword instructors. Iyasu in popular culture, see people of the Senoka period in popular culture, myths and theories, due to Iyasu's unique characteristics, there are a few legends and theories surrounding his actions that are popular in fiction. Iyasu planned Hanaji. Among the many conspiracies surrounding the Hanaji incident is Iyasu's role in the event. Historically, Iyasu was away from his lord at the time and, when he heard that Nobunaga was in danger, he wanted to rush to his lord's rescue in spite of the small number of attendants with him. However, Tadakatsu advised for his lord to avoid the risk and urged for a quick retreat to Mikawa. Mazaneri led the way through Iga and they returned home by boat. However, Skeptics think otherwise. While they usually accept the historically known facts about Iyasu's actions during Mitsuoid's betrayal, theorists tend to pay more attention to the events before. Ever since Iyasu lost his wife and son due to Nobunaga's orders, they reason, he held a secret resentment against his lord. Generally, there is some belief that he privately goaded Mitsuoid to take action when the two warlords were together in Azuchi Castle. Together. He planned when to attack and went their separate ways. When the deed was done, Iyasu turned a blind eye to Mitsuoid's schemes and fled the scene to feign innocence. A variation of the concept states that Iyasu was well aware of Mitsuoid's feelings regarding Nobunaga and simply chose to do nothing for his own benefit. Like all the theories and conspiracies surrounding Hanaji, it's unknown if any of these ideas are true. Iyasu had an imposter. The Tokugawa Iyasu's cage musha legend is a myth that has been circulating since the Edo period. It is believed to have arisen due to historical records of Iyasu's sudden change of behavior with some of his closet colleagues. The idea was made more popular in modern times by the historians, Tokitomi Soha and Yasushigu Shijino. The general outline of the legend is that after the Battle of Okazama, Motuasu was ready to face the world as a changed man. According to Hayashi Razan, the last line was meant quite literally. Before Motuasu could make his new face known to the world, he was replaced by a completely different man named Sarata Jiro Saburo Motonobu. Variations include that the switch actually occurred much earlier in Motuasu's life when he was being a hostage. Motonobu went in Motuasu's stead and was considered a more suitable heir. After Motonobu replaced him, Motuasu fled and lived a hermit's life. 
Another version states that Iyasu was actually killed during the Battle of Sekigahara or the Osaka Campaign. When he was killed by Sanada Yukimura during the latter conflict, it is said that he was replaced by Ogezawara Hidemisa who became the Iyasu from then on. While prevalent in fiction, historians are unsure whether or not the myth holds any merit. His dubious personality traits during these specific time frames have been mostly blamed on stress and personal strain. Era of Iyasu's rule Iyasu ruled directly as shogun or indirectly as Oegosho during the Kichu era. See also, East Asian Age Reckoning, Testament of Iyasu, Notes. Bibliography, Sadler, A.L. The Maker of Modern Japan. A. Further reading, Bolitu, Harold. Treasures Among Men, of D. Demo in Tokugawa, Japan. New Haven, Yale University Press. 10 ISBN 0 300 01655 7 13 ISBN 978 0 300 01655 0. OCLC A 185,685,588. McLean, James. The Cambridge History of Japan, Vol. 4. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Macklin, Frank. The Greatest Shogun, BBC History Magazine, Vol. 9, No. 1, pages 52 Euro 53. A. Shanage Her Registered Trademark E or E squared a 3 quarters cubed A A A E E, Theta Micro A A Euro E Coolia a Florin a Florin 1 quarter a Florin a Florin Sha Florin 1 quarter a Sansom, George. A History of Japan, 1334 a Euro 1615. Stanford. Stanford University Press. ISBN 0-8047-0525-9. Totman, Conrad E. Politics in the Tokugawa Bakufu, 1600 Euro 1843. Cambridge, Harvard University Press. OCLCA 279623.